Hi guys, I'm Stephanie and thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. Um, today I'm going to give you a review of all the whistles I own. Um, I'm going to play them for you so you can hear the difference. I've got a few penny whistles and I've got um, a few low D whistles. So yeah, let's get started. So I've got a small collection of penny whistles. This is where I started about uh, maybe a year and a half ago. Um, I got the Generation C whistle. These are soprano whistles, so they're quite high. Um, this is the nickel and it's got a plastic top and um, they're not a bad whistle. They come really, really cheap. I think these were all around about a five though, if not less. But I also got the brass in a C just to see if there was any sound difference. Um, so I'll play them and see what you guys think. They're a bit raspy in places. I think it depends on the specific whistle. But I've also tried um, a little bit of sandpaper in here <laughs> to try and get it a little bit clearer, but this is how it sounds. The brass sounds pretty much the same. particular whistle is a little bit clearer, but as I said, I think it depends on the generation whistle you get. Now I have got these in a D, in an F, and in a G. Tiny little thing. Um, yeah, I'll just give you a little scale on these. I won't go any further. Ready for this one? Okay, so aside from the generation whistles, um, I then opted for um, a Clark Sweet Tone. Now this is a tapered bore, so it's slightly different to the generation whistles, which are just straight. Um, as suggested, sweet tone, it's a little bit more mellow. Now, none of these whistles have been warmed up, so do bear that in mind. Again, I think this was six pound, something like that. Um, definitely a different feel to it, uh, but it's a good little whistle, quite a nice mouthpiece as well, easy to use, easy to blow. I find this one more comfortable to play, um, although the holes do seem a little bit smaller than the Generation. My ultimate favourite is basically the original Clark Penny Whistle. And again, it's a tapered ball, but at the top we've got a wood block. Now, I love that shape. I find that wonderful to play, and I love the sound of this whistle. So, um, yeah, again, I think this one was a little bit more expensive because of the original design. I think it was about 10, mm, yeah, 10 pounds, I think. But if you do want to get one, sometimes you need to pay a little bit more, sort of 20, 25. I have seen them online for 40, so... Uh, yeah, definitely one for the collection, and I'd get another one at a drop of a hat. A 
low D whistles. Um, the first one I had um, for my birthday. So yeah, I've had this for nearly a year. I've had it for 10 months. Um, it's a sheer water whistle. It's made from PVC, black. It is a one piece whistle. Again, I chose this one because I love the shape of the Clark penny whistle. Um, so I like that fill in at the top there. I like that shape. Um, being PVC, you don't really need to warm it up as much as you do with um, any of the metal whistles. It's got offset holes, so um, as you can see, they're not straight. This is quite good for beginners or anyone with small hands, because then you can get the stretch, which is required for the piper's grip. Um, it was 40 quid. I mean, what more can you ask for? <laughs> well, I'll give it a play, see what you think. <laughs> It's got quite an eerie, uh, raspy, rough and deep kind of tone to it, which I loved. It's kind of spooky and, and but rounded and soft. I really like that. Um, what I did find is that when I tried to play along with backing tracks or any other instruments, this particular whistle wasn't in tune. It's not tunable. Um, it changes a little bit the harder you blow, but generally, uh, something you need to play on your own without any accompanying music. So after much deliberation, I decided to go for Misha Somerville's, I think it's Misha Somerville, um, his MK Pro. Now this whistle is very well made. It's got a different top, as you can see, comes in a few different colors. It has a tuning slide here, so you can adjust <laughs> your whistle and uh, find the best sort of tuning range. Um, this cost me, I think, £250. Um, it sounds amazing, but it does need warming up. So I'll just do this and then I'll play something for you. love it. <laughs> it's got straight holes. There's no adjustment for your fingers. Um, this hole here is quite large, so you do need a, quite a good understanding of the piper's grip to be able to cover that well. You do need some large finger spreads here to get this covered nicely. Um, there's nothing to hold on to. It's kind of heavy. It's a little bit slippery, although they have just added a few little ridges there to kind of keep your thumb in place. But it's a really good quality instrument and it does feel a lot different to everything else I own. I went for the Pro because it was tunable and I wanted to be able to play it with other instruments. And I think this kind of does the trick. I've played along to backing tracks with this and it works. You guys can see um, some of the videos with and without backing tracks on my channel. So uh, yeah, take a look. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you like my review. If you did like this video, then please hit the like button below and don't forget to subscribe. Um, I've got loads of videos where I play uh, usually my MK Pro. So uh, yeah, I'll play some songs for you guys. If you do have any requests for songs, then just leave some comments below. Um, and if you want tabs for anything as well, just comment on the YouTube video and then I'll work on getting those online for you as well. So thanks for watching. Again, hit subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time.